Hi, in this video I will show you a simple, cheap and very precise method to zero almost any workpiece. All you need is some aluminum tape. The tape acts as switch and is connected to Eslicam's probe input with an alligator clip. The other part of the switch is the tool itself, connected to ground. In my case I've just grounded a spindle housing, which conveniently also grounds the tool itself. If this is not a case on your machine, use an alligator clip to ground the tool. Let's first touch off the left front corner of a rectangular workpiece. Select Setup Workpiece, touch off edges and corners. Enter tool diameter in the first field and the thickness of the aluminum tape in the second. Now just stick the tape on the left front corner connect it to the probe input and jog the machine against the edge. As soon as the tool touches the tape the machine stops immediately, changes the X coordinate to the correct value and finally backs off a little. Note the value changed to minus 2.56 instead of 0. Our tool has a radius of 1.5mm plus 0.06mm tape and 1mm the machine backed off. This adds up to 2.56mm, but as we are at the left side of the workpiece, the sign is negative. Then just repeat for the front edge and top of the workpiece. You can also do this with the spindle running. Have a look at this. At the moment the tool touches the edge of the workpiece perfectly, but if we turn it a little a gap opens. Whether or not this issue appears depends on fluid angle and how deep we can go. If we go deep enough to make sure there is always a point along the flute in contact with the workpiece, the issue disappears, but we can also just turn the spindle on to avoid it completely. This also nicely demonstrates the precision of this method. There's barely a scratch visible on the tape. Eslicam also assists you to find the sender of a workpiece. Click Setup Workpiece, Touch of Sender. To find the sender of a circle we just need to touch of three points around it. The location of the points is not relevant, just make sure they are somewhat evenly distributed. Finally click OK and our new zero is at our center.